Hey y'all and welcome back to the DG Outdoors channel. Today's video, I wanted to tell you guys that the retro vintage bow build is back on. Uh, before I get to show you what we got for it. Um, the bow that I ordered, you guys know, came in three different pieces. I tried to put it back together. I thought about sending it to an archery shop to do it. And I didn't want to spend extra money after spending $77 on that bow to put it back together. Especially when I didn't know what kind of condition the limbs were in, even though they looked okay. And me taking that bow apart, putting it back together, it's already been shipped through the mail. And I'd have to put out extra money. Uh, yeah, so those those plans got shot down. But I had all these accessories, you know, that I bought for it and, you know, things like that. And... I was really, really, really mad about it, and yesterday, maybe 98 and I were on Amazon looking at bows, like I always do a lot, and we came across this. Now, it's not this brand, but it is the same exact style, and it is this color. This is, mine's called the Surgent. This is the Eye Glow. Same Chinese company. Uh, I mean, you know, different manufacturer names, the same bow. So guys, this is what it looks like right here, coming from Amazon. Okay, this is a vintage style bow. It's got technology that was uh, used 30, 30 years ago. Uh, it's got the dual wheel rollers on it. It's got teardrops for the string, which makes it real easy to replace. Um, this is a 40 to 55 pound bow. The one I bought says 40 to 65 pounds. Um, but it is silver and black and it even comes with the old style uh, pin sights the metal pin sights like my dad's spread bear hat on it So we ordered one of those and it is silver and black. So I was thinking well with camouflage You know, I wanted to do a vintage camo look on it. I really like this duck hunting camo pattern right here it's like I could paint it that or I could do something like this, which would be a lot easier considering it's already a silver bow. Uh, so let's go to images on Google here. I thought about something like this. Okay, I could easily paint this real easy if it'll come up. Um, something like the original tree bark pattern right there, guys. Just get some paint markers, some black paint, um, you know, paint, draw little rectangles on there and then paint them. Uh, brown and use the black as an outline real easy thing to do that's what I thought about doing um, do that or I've got another option I've got this real tree advantage classic tape that I bought for the other one um, to use as far as air arrests go I've got this 90 style Allen launcher rest like I started out with back in the day I could put on there or now, I didn't know these were by the same company the bows made by uh, Southland archery supplies or that's what they call it in the United States and in China it's got a million different names I do have a generic whisker biscuit which is camouflage that I bought um, and this came with an extra brush I've ordered it on Amazon so here's the, the site itself. It's got a metal housing on it, um, but it's just a little generic whisker biscuit. And then it does come with a extra whisker biscuit, which is kind of cool. And if I had to replace the whisker biscuits, I can pay $9 and get, um, get another one. Now I ordered these for that uh, Golden Eagle to match and everything, but... It, it won't really matter. Um, so I have air arrest options. I've got those metal sight pins on there, which I may keep on that bow when it comes. Or this was supposed to be camo also to match the other bow. I did get a little top archery uh, three pin sight too. And it was black. It was supposed to be camo, but they sent me the black one. 
no big deal. Okay. It's a little generic site there. Throw on there too. Uh, one thing that hasn't came yet is the green peep side I bought for that other bow that I, I'll probably put on this one. Um, and I already have serving material to tie that in, which is good. Uh, you guys saw the stabilizer the, that I showed you the other day. The arrow rest is over there. I bought some silencing material to put on the shelf of the bow in case I need it. Um, this is really cheap. So yeah, those are pretty much the things that I have for the retro bow build. And I've got options to do. And the fact that I'm getting a, a new bow instead of a used one. I will never buy a used bow on eBay ever again. Um, but yeah. You know, I, I would do it in this camo pattern right here. This pattern's been around since, you know, the 60s and before then. I just really like it um, but just a bunch of ideas coming on I got moose and aluminum arrows coming from China those will be here in a couple of days I'll do a review on those those are definitely getting shot out of that bow they're red with white and green fletching so that that'll be very very interesting I got May 98 a new set of arrows over there and those will be a review after this when this video uploads so uh yeah, guys, I, I've got options and options and options, and I want to thank Man Man 98 for ordering that for me. I love you, babe. And, uh, I threw a fit about that bow. I was so mad because I had all these plans to do a retro bow build, you know, and the nostalgia and, and whatever. And,. It sucks. That's the reason why I won't be buying another used bow off of eBay. I did buy my Sam Sage off of eBay and it came fine. You know. So remember y'all, like, comment, subscribe. Jesus loves you. And I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.